welcome back to the kitchen with Chef Ricardo cooking show. Today I'm making some nice lovely Jamaican gungo rice and peas. So hopefully guys will like the recipe, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, get a copy of the cookbook on Amazon, 50% off. Thank you so much guys for watching the cooking show. We've got a lot more recipe coming up for you. That is brilliant recipe, very easy and simple. And as you can see, enjoy. See you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back with Chef Ricardo cooking show. Anyway, today we're going to make you some nice lovely gungo rice and peas all right first of all as you can see i got four cups of water inside of the pot start to cook up because the water gonna get to boil up now so the water even start boiling as you can see basically i'm gonna chop two cans of gungo peas inside of it just like this two cans of gungo peas A lot of people don't like to use the water, but I use the water, because it's fine. That's two cans, all right? Um, second thing, we're gonna put some coconut milk inside of it. Coconut milk is a must. The reason why we put the coconut milk is to give it a lot of flavor. Are you looking flavor? So I'm gonna uh, use half cans of coconut milk inside of it. But what the coconut milk gonna do is gonna give it a lot of flavor also inside of it. Nice and lovely. So we're gonna season the water now. And we want the water to have another flavor and taste. So basically, I'm gonna use some unsalted butter inside of it, large spoon. I got some spring onion which you're gonna use inside of it and I'm using a large spring onion guys beautiful and nice I know you guys will love this that's a spring onion so it's a must you have to season the water to get the flavor and the taste from it Some fresh thyme in the water also, which is a must. Um, second thing, I got some spring, I got some I got some white onion which I want to use inside of it. Quarter of a white onion. And also a Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper to give it flavor. A little bit of coarse pepper, not too much. A pinch of salt. A lot of people don't like to cook with salt. But you know, if you had a little salt, no one of them to give it a little flavor. Second thing, cover it and leave it for 10 minutes to boil and get in the flavor from the spring onion and the thyme inside of it. Alright? Enjoy the recipe. Nice and lovely. Look at that. That is beautiful and fantastic, guys. Beautiful. Really nice. So as you can see, I make it even the water look different, the juice of the water. And that's exactly what you're looking for. So basically, I just wash four cups of rice, which I'm gonna add to it. And hopefully, guys, I like the recipe. So now we're gonna um, add the rice. And that's four cups of rice. I'm using some basmatic rice, which is very easy to cook. So basically, you can't have too much water in the pot. All right. So basically, I would say this is the right amount of water I have inside of the pot. If it is too much water, you take out a little bit. If you're using big long grain rice, that takes a little longer to cook, so it'll take a little bit more water. So, as you can see, just if you're cooking plain rice at home, if you're not to cook your plain rice or you're cooking in the rice cooker, it's the same thing, it's not different, it's just because you're adding the gongo 
and season it. So you can even do it in your rice cooker same way. Come out the same way. Beautiful and nice. So basically, that's it right here. Beautiful and nice. So we're gonna cover this and leave this to cook for 10 more minutes and then we're gonna look at it again. It's so roughly 15 minutes at a medium size heat. Turn on your stove not too high because you don't want your rice to burn. You get disappointment. Enjoy the recipe. Nice and lovely so. Oh man, look at that. Look at that beautiful gungo rice and peas. First of all, move the boy. This is the bad boy. Scotch by the purple. You don't want that to burst inside of the rice. So, as you can see, this is exactly what I'm all about at the moment. Beautiful gungo rice and peas. So guys, enjoy the recipes, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments. Thank you so much for watching the cooking show. We've got a lot more recipes like this coming out for you. This is a perfect gungo rice and peas. Thank you so much. Now this is finished and I'm going to turn off my stuff because this is finished. And that's the way you can cook one of the best ever gungo rice and peas. Thank you so much and see you next time. This